Hey, did someone said that there is no Weevil Eggs in ERT bounty missions after the latest 322.0a patch? Well, CAG stated on their Spectrum patch notes post that uh, they will need to make a bounty ship cargo balance pass. So, in this video I did a couple of tests where I have combined around 10 VHRT and uh, ERT missions so that I can check if this game loop is still viable for money making in Star Citizen. I'm gonna show you my results in this two days testing since I have run around uh, 10 bounty missions each day. You will see my profits at the end of each day so that you can decide for yourself if this is still worth doing. Some things have definitely changed and I'm gonna tell you what kind of cargo you want to take if you plan to make some additional profit out of the bounty hunting gameplay. Again. For this mission I'm gonna fly my trusty Drake Corsair with full Ballistic Gatling setup. I have also upgraded stock components to military grade A components and that means shields, quantum drive, coolers and power plant. As you can see my Corsair is very effective on uh, taking almost every target without much problems. See how this carrack goes down fast? By the way guys, a little tip here, if you take down the carrack, don't waste your time to try to loot the cargo from this ship, since you can't get the cargo out of the carrack storage area. So you just kill the ship and forget about checking his cargo, you will save yourself a precious time. Ok, now I'm gonna show you a few examples of what I have found on my bounty ships in my first day of testing. Here we have an A2 and I think this was my third mission. After the scanning you can see that we have 12 SCU of uh, Weevil Eggs, so I will transfer them to my ship. Here you can see that I already have some stuff in my cargo from missions before, where I have mainly found uh, good chunks of Quantanium. I suggest that if you find Quantanium, take it. You will get like 25k per one SCU, so take any Quantanium that you can find. Here we have some slam too and you want to take slam if you find one. Here is a constellation Andromeda and scan shows 3 SCU of Quantanium which I will take with me. Again, we have another A2 with 18 SEU of Weevil Eggs, so let's transfer this to my ship. And here we also have a nice amount of gold. Gold is another commodity that you want to take since you can sell gold for 7k per SEU. This was uh, around 12 SEU of gold which is little less than 100k. Since my Corsair has only 72 SEU of cargo, I wanted to take only Weevil X, Quantanium and Slam. In case you fly, for example, Constellation Taurus, you can also take gold with you. As I have found this big 16 SCU box of Weevil Eggs and since my Corsair was almost full, I needed to rearrange my cargo hold so that I can take everything with me. I don't know about you, but I really enjoy doing this stuff, you know, it's like playing Tetris in a way. Very satisfying for me personally. While I'm taking everything back to my cargo hold, let me quickly summarize what you actually want to take now in ERT missions. So, for now, only thing worth taking is Weevil Eggs, Slam, Quantanium and gold. In these 20 missions that I did in two days, I never found maize, which is second best paying illegal commodity, and uh, widow is gone too, it seems. But you will find some neon, etam, and uh, that ultra something. I don't know how to pronounce that correctly. These are some low paying illegal stuff, but hey, if you fly C2, for example, then you want to think about taking those two. It is free after all, and it will make you some additional profit.
Now I'm gonna show you my profit from this first day and around 10 bounty missions. So, you can sell Quantanium in TDD of any major city like Crusader, Hurston, Microtech or Arcorp and you will get around 25k for one SEU. But you can also sell on Grimhex where you will get 21k per one SEU of Quantanium. In this case, I sold my Quantanium on Grimhex and made around 1 million just on Quantanium. For gasping Vivolex and Slam, you will need to go to any salvage yard around the verse. In my case, I went to Brio Breakers yard, where I have successfully sold everything for around 3.6 million. So we can say that I've made around 4.6 millions from around 10 ERT bounty missions. I believe this is not bad at all. Now before I show you my second day testing, let me give you two more tips. One is about planet side bounty missions and second one is about scanner spread. So about that planet side missions. I like to avoid them in a way that uh, when I get the mission on Daymar, Selin or Yela, I just fly in and take down the main bounty right away. I will leave the rest of the ships and fly away. So why would you do that Vader, you may ask? Well, because it takes too much time. Usually all the ships that I kill will explode when they fall to the ground and that means that almost all cargo will get destroyed. So for me, best way is to just kill main target and fly off. What you actually want to do is to take bounty missions around yellow asteroids. Now about that scanner spread tip. We all know that we have a lot of problems with our scanner not working properly when we try to scan for cargo. So what I have discovered that if I use my scanner on 22 degree it scans a lot better than when it is on default 360 degree. So you may try this for yourself if you want but I think that it actually works a lot better in this way. Yes you will still occasionally have some scanning problems but I have way more successful scans while using this 22 degree spread. Now let's move on that second day testing phase. Again, I have done around 10 ERT missions and here you can see that I have 18 SU of Vivolex inside of an A2. So let's quickly transfer this to my cargo hold and I will also make a quick scan of other stuff inside of this A2 just for you to see what else you can find. Here we also have some ETEM, you can take it if you have a ship with a bigger cargo hold size. Next I have a hammerhead with 3 SCU of Gasping Weevil Legs. Let's transfer this to my ship quickly. Unfortunately no other available cargo inside of this hammerhead. So let's move on to a Starfire with 7 SU of Quantanium. Of course I want to take this too. As you may notice uh, you will find a lot of Quantanium in these ERT bounty ships and just make sure to take them all. This is a 890 jump and we have 7 SCU of Weevil X, which is great. Mm -hmm. 
and we also have a 26 SCU of Neon. I already said before, if you have a ship with bigger cargo hold, you could easily take this 26 SCU of Neon and earn additional 200k. Let's move these eggs to my storage and now I'm gonna show you where did I sold my cargo and how much money I have earned from this second day of testing. First I have sold my Weevil eggs on Brio's breaker yard on Daymar. Let's land this ship and move to a selling terminal. Here we are at selling terminal and let's see 37 SEU of Weevil eggs which I will sell for almost 4.2 millions. This is still a nice profit from uh, bounty missions if you ask me. Thank you CSG for deciding not to remove all valuable cargo from bounty ships. Now I have Quantanium and Gold to sell, so this time I will go to Horizon TDD and uh, sell this stuff there. So while we travel to Horizon, I have a quick question for you guys. Tell me, what do you think about this bounty ship cargo rebounds? Is it too much since there is no maze anymore or you think that uh, this is still a viable way of earning money in Star Citizen? Please leave your comments in the comment section below, thanks. Now I'm gonna tell you what I think. I still have fun doing this to be honest. Yes, I cannot earn 20 millions in one hour like before but still, 4 to 5 million for like little less than 2 hours is absolutely acceptable for me and I plan to play ERT missions in the future because I really enjoy in that excitement of uh, what shall I find, you know. For now I have found max 18 SU of eggs in one ship. Leave a comment if you had more luck and found more than 18 SU in one ship. Ok, here I am on the selling terminal and I will sell this 16 SU of Quantanium for 400k. This time I have found only one SCU of gold, so let's sell this too and uh, I can say that I have made around 4.6 millions all together with 37 SCU of Weevil X, 16 SCU of Quantanium and one SCU of gold. Again, this was around 2 hours of gameplay. So let's take Jedan Gutle Rakie after the end of a good and profitable day. And that's all for today. Thank you all for watching, consider to like the video, maybe even subscribing to this channel and as I always like to say, stay safe in the worst and may the force be with you all.